Hi everybody, today is February 1st, I think, 2021, and I want to still go through a, a circuit that's tricky because of Ohm's Law. Um, and we just learned K KCL and KVL, and I told you the sum of um, all voltage drops around a loop going clockwise direction is zero. And I'm gonna use that here. But first, let me um, go to view one. And view one is drawn this way because of a uh, circuit lab. On the exam, if you have a question like this, what is view one? That's this absolutely the simplest question to answer. So because the resistance between the minus and the plus is zero, view one is zero. So it, you can use Ohm's law or you can just say by inspection because it's a short circuit. Now the current, if you say I6 is zero, that's the problem. So in a short circuit, the voltage drop is zero, but the current is not necessarily zero. So we're gonna use um, Kirchhoff's voltage law, just like what we said today. And I'm gonna start on this bottom node here where it shows plus V2, but I'm going to go up here in that direction and I find a minus. So I'm going to write, so KVL is minus 4. Now I continue here and I find a plus, so it's plus V5. I continue here, it doesn't, there is no branch. So when there's a branch, then I see if there's plus or minus. Here it's plus, but the number is minus, so minus 5. And then minus V2 equals zero. And then I get back to here. So this is absolutely the KVL that I'm expecting. Plus uh, minus four, plus V5, minus five, minus V2 equals zero. Then I can change this to V5 minus V2 equals nine. But obviously what I want is I6. So now I'm going to use Ohm's law. And Ohm's law um, says the V equals IR. And now I have the chance of using I6. But first I'm going to draw here. If the voltage drop on, on the R5 is this way, the current here is this way. This is I5. If the voltage drop here is this way, the current I2 is like this. So now I'm going to write Ohm's law for those two resistors. V5 is R5, I5. V2 is R2, I2. Hopefully everybody remembers that. These are Ohm's laws. Now, what happens here is that I don't want I5 and I2. I want what is I5 as a function of I6? So I'm going to look at I5 here, and you can even do KCL on this node, and I5 equals I6. And now I want to do KCL on I2, or I want to do KCL on this node here, and you see that I6 plus I2 equals 0. by KCL. So I2 is minus I6. So now I'm going to use, I'm going to rewrite these two Ohm's laws down here as a function of I6. So it's going to be V2 is minus R2 I6 and V5 is R5, I6. If this is not clear, please post on Piazza a question about it. Now I'm gonna go back to this equation here and say V5, which is R5, I6, minus V2, which is minus R2, I6, is nine. So I6, is 9 
divided by r5 plus r2. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know r5 and r2. So I'm going to call this guy, I don't know, 2 kilohms. And this guy, 1 kilohms. So 9 divided by 3k is going to be 3 milliamps. can't even see it, of course. Of course I didn't make this good enough for the whole page. So I apologize. I'm going to post the whole thing there. Bad video making. There. So now I know V1 equals 0. I6 equals 3 milliamps. I may have messed up a sign or two, but that's that.